Hi everyone! Today I'm making one of the traditional Polish soups for special occasions, for holidays. Um, we will be having a party for New, for New Year's Eve and um, all of our friends and family that are coming are Polish so they're very familiar with the soup and they really really like it. Um, so some of you are going to freak out but don't. I am telling you it is delicious and the star of this soup is, can anyone guess what this is? It's tripe. Okay, and some of you are like, what, what is tripe? Tripe is the stomach or the lining of the stomach of a cow. Okay, now half of you have fainted. It's okay, come back. It's really delicious. Um, I boiled this tripe for about three hours or three times, yeah, so about an hour each time. Um, and then you pour the water out, you add new water and you clean it up that way so that the scent of it is pleasant. Uh, otherwise, it's not gonna smell so nice and I recommend boiling it a couple of times. Um, we also have bone broth and I have um, about a pack and a half and these are one quart or for my European friends, uh, about 946 millimeters and then we also have my son who loves to be the star of each show um, we have a pound of beef and this is already cubed I'm going to cube it and uh, I'm going to cut it in even smaller pieces I bought a large piece of um, beef shoulder and then I cut it I had this one frozen I defrosted it and now I'll cut it into even smaller pieces Again, I have about a pound and four ounces. And then we go to our vegetables and aromatics. Uh, so as far as um, the aromatics are concerned or our herbs, this is going to be the star of our show. And believe it or not, I'm going to use a whole uh, package of that. That's, uh, I think it's called mar marjoram or marjoram. In Polish, it's majoranek. And the other things that we'll be using are carrots, which you see right there. Um, we have a little bit of ginger. We have parsnips. We have one large onion. And some of you may not be familiar with this, but this is celery root. And I just can't believe uh, why it's so difficult to find this. Um, there are so many uh, people that eat celery in this country, but they're not familiar with celery root and it's a great um, root vegetable, I think. Um, we also have Spicy. spices, right? So what do we have there? We have ground cumin, we have sweet paprika, what's the next one? Oregano, mm -hmm. and then we have some Hungarian hot paprika. So mommy likes it spicy, right? Yeah. Augustine, not so much. I like spicy You chips. like spicy? Oh, it's spicy chips, okay. And here we have different types, different types of spices. Okay, so you see, um, again, what we have is uh, paprika and hot uh, pepper flakes. We have black pepper. We have some ground cumin. I just placed it on the table because um, it's, it's easier and nicer to see that. This way we have some bay leaves, we have allspice, and um, we also have a little bit of oregano on the plate. The reason I have some uh, of the spices set aside is because I will also uh, put them on my meat as I brown the beef. Okay, so this is all we'll need. And the next step for me is to get in and cut all of the tripe. I'm going, I'm going to cut it into small uh, pieces it's going to be uh, little strings if you will and I'll show you exactly what it looks like after I'm done okay
tripe is already cut into the pieces that I talked to you about and um, I did show you how to do that um, so here this is about the length that it has to be so what I'll do now is I'll be pouring the bone broth over it and I'll start boiling it um, you should have the heat on about medium uh, you don't want it over uh, boiling okay I cubed my beef and I dried it so that I can rub it with different spices and then what I'll do is I'll saute it actually I need to brown it I want to brown it and then once it's browned and uh, I will add it to our tripe here are the spices I'll be adding the spices into our tripe as well I have added 10 cups of water um, because we needed more liquid um, so here it is a big pot the tripe is cooking actually it, it was cooking I just added more water so we're gonna bring it bring it back to boil and then my lovely assistant here wants to add the spices so uh, just yeah, tip it over and add the spices very good uh, and the, we will be adding more spices later on. Exactly. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll start browning the meat. Then I'll add the meat. We'll let everything boil together. And I will have to cut. Uh, it will be a julienne cut. Um, all of our vegetables. I just cleaned them. I'll peel the carrots and parsnips. And we'll wow. add them later on once the meat is cooking. My meat is browning and I added some spices into it. I did not put any salt in it. I, didn't, I did not want to. We'll add salt at the end. All I did is a bit of black pepper, cumin, oregano, and it's nicely browned. And our soup is boiling there. If you see, it, it already has a beautiful color that's from adding uh, paprika. Okay. It's almost ready. I will turn the heat off now. And I will add it to our meat, to our soup. Add the meat to our soup. Okay. onion and I forgot to add garlic um, I took about three cloves of garlic I used the same frying pan uh, that I used for browning the meat and I sauteed the onion 
And then for the last minute, I added the cut garlic. What I will do now is I will add this mixture to our soup and the soup looks great already. It has a beautiful color. Um, I haven't tasted it yet because we still have to add more spices to it and definitely salt. I haven't ha had uh, a chance to add any salt yet. And again, I want to taste it first to see. So I'll add this and uh, after that we will add our vegetables. I have already cut all of the vegetables into nice julienne style. So here are my carrots, the celery root, as well as parsnips. So I, could, I can add that and then onions. And then just uh, make sure that you add spices to taste. Our soup looks wonderful. And you can see the beautiful color. The meat is soft. And so are the vegetables. And now we will make a roux to add to our soup to make it a little bit thicker. I like the consistency of the soup to be a bit thicker. So what I have here is three tablespoons of butter and we will melt butter. And then we'll add the same amount of flour. So we'll add three tablespoons of flour and we'll mix this until it's golden in color. So we'll wait for this to melt. And after that, we'll add it to our soup. So butter is melting. It's important to mix it well. Okay, and I'll take it off the heat for a while. Spoon. Like I said, it should be the same amount of butter as flour. Since we have three tablespoons of butter, we've added three tablespoons of flour. And now again, mix it well and then we'll put it back on the heat so that it browns a little bit. We want it to have a nice golden color. Earlier, what I've done is I uh, saved about half a cup of the soup, just the broth, and it has, it was outside, I, I wanted it to not be hot anymore. We will add it to our roux and then we'll add the entire thing back to our soup. So just a little bit more. Like I said, I would like the color to be 
a little bit more brown or golden. And it's time to add it to our soup and then I will mix it very well and I'll show you the final results. So I have added our roux to the soup and look, a beautiful golden color. It smells great and look at the meat, very nice. And the beef right there. The vegetables are soft and I just can't wait to have my guests over tomorrow and taste it. Well I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will try and make this on your own. Like I said it's very delicious. Trust me it is. And I hope you subscribe and like the video. Thank you.